Um, I guess everyone is familiar with the concept of modal dialogues, which is a type of windows that appear on the top of the main window and require the users to interact with it before they can go back using the application, aka the main window. But, you know what? I think I'm going to give you some little extra context, because next I will discuss on a merge request, and I want to make sure you're following along, okay? So, I'm starting with Files Preferences, which is a modal dialog, and we can open it with Control and Comma, and since this is a modal dialog, we can't move it outside the parent, although we can still resize it. And secondly, we can't interact with the main window, even if somehow folder selection seems to work, which I guess is some bug. Next to it, we have the Prompt Terminal and the preferences of prompt are using a non-modal dialog. That not only means we can move the dialog separately from the main window, but we can also interact with the application like typing on terminal or even opening the rest menus. Many times this is super useful, for example, when we want to see the changes we're making, and it can be crazy annoying if we need to opening and closing the preferences for doing so. Another thing, and if you can't reproduce that, then it means it's a new feature in GNOME 46, so Another thing is that non-modal dialogues will now open in the correct placement, which was one of the main annoyances of GNOME dialogues in the past. Um, on overview, the non-modal dialog will disappear, but notice how the window retains the quit functionality. On files, the modal will remain visible, but closing the window from overview won't be now possible. Trying the same on Add White a Demo and Alert Modal Dialogues, we'll see that the first close will quit the dialog, and the second will quit the window. Um, three apps are giving three different experiences, so what the hell is going on? Basically, this is a new capability in Adwaita 1.5, so when files preferences will port, they should be able to do that. But on the other hand, I'm not completely sure if someone should dismiss alerts like that. Probably there is a discussion on it, but anywho, that's how it works right now. The other thing about Adwaita 1.5 is the new bottom sheets dialogues for the 360 pixels width windows. So. The Preferences dialog will open like this when the window is big, although there isn't much content on those preferences, but whatever. The same dialog will open like that when the window is small but not necessarily running on a phone, it can be just tiled. That means you can't port to Adwaita dialogs if you don't want your window to be a modal, or at least I'm not sure if that's quite possible. With all these on mine, this is a merge request that ports most of prompt windows to Adwaita dialogs, and it is already pushed in main. Meanwhile, I forgot to tell you that Prompt has been renamed to Texas. And anyway, I will put the issue on the YouTube description if you want to read about the reasoning. But for now, I want to show you the original commit of this merge request, and spoiler alert, the one that it didn't actually got merged. Um, so Texas Preferences window turned to Texas Preferences dialog that inherits from Adwaita dialog, all right? and back to overview to start reading, which is obviously my favorite part. So... When Christian sees that, asks the contributor, Tix's preferences dialog is specifically non-modal. How is that handled with Adwaita dialog? So the contributor asks back, why should the preferences window be non-modal? Basically, every other Adwaita and GNOME app treats the preferences as part of the main window, aka a modal because it obscures the content when you need to test things out and or see how the changes would apply. That thing I show to you already when you change themes, for example. Chris continues, many times this was done specifically for terrible reasons. The reason was that mutter slash shell would place the dialogue so far away from the underlying window that it was obnoxious. But as of GNOME 46, shell will place non-modal windows with a proper transient for applied above its transient for. Um, that was again from before, when the preferences window opens always in a placement relatively to its parent, so it's probably a GNOME 46 feature after all. Like most window managers used to do 20 years ago. Ouch, that was a nail? I think it was a nail. So, Dexter next goes with some properties of Adwaita dialogues. With Adwaita dialogues, you can resize the window when the dialogue is open, so you could resize to see a bit more of the terminal. You can also preview some of the changes like font and palette with the palette preview. It also isn't that hard to close and reopen the Preferences dialog, especially with the keyboard shortcuts. And of course, this also makes the Prefs window show nicely on mobile. But Chris doesn't want the Preferences window modal anyway, because unlike Text Editor where we can do a text preview, that's not really possible in a reasonable fashion with a terminal. And if you're asking me, that scales much more than testing fonts, so I'm with Chris on that. 
For the rest part of the patches, Christian is comfortable, and he asks the contributor if we could have Adwaita dialogues but without modals, and bottom sheets but only for the mobile. That didn't happen for the moment, so Dexter solved the issue by reverting the preferences patches, but everything else is now on main for GNOME 46. And because I'm such a nice girl, um, even if some think otherwise, I got for you the patched with Adwaita preferences version side by side with what's on upstream to pick what you like the most. So this is on main, with the preferences window, that is not a modal, and we can move independently. And here is Tixis with the original patches, and the dialog preferences opening with this fancy effect, but at the same time we can't move them, which can be an unfortunate situation in some cases. But the bottom sheets will work super in mobile, and with Adwaita 1.5 dialogues we can scale the full application window, and not just the dialog. Cosmic Epoch won't have any such issues and arguments, though, because new projects know that modals can be a bitch. So they went with embedding their settings on the main window with a sidebar. Of course, the bad thing here is that it can only do rows and can't have complex settings, but it should be fine for basic desktop apps. Um, basically, I think non-modals preferences beat modal preferences to pretty much everything than the look, so do we again have this case where GNOME sacrifices usability for being pretty? What you humans think, huh?